so in continuation to our previous video the medium chain fatty acids long chain fatty acids polyunsaturated fatty acids complex lipids how they undergo degradation how they metabolized okay so in vitro peroxidation would lead to rancidity of fats and oils okay in vivo the membrane lipids are more liable to attack by free radicals and produce damage to the integrity of the membrane in naturally occurring lipids antioxidants prevent lipid peroxidation so vitamin e or tocopherol is an uh, important antioxidant in human body to prevent lipid peroxidation especially the fatty acids which are present in the cell membranes of each and every organ so next point to talk about is like elongation of fatty acids so elongation of fatty acids like uh, microsomal system and uh, what to say elongate saturated or unsaturated fatty acid coa by successive addition of two carbon units okay so it's all about the microsomal system okay which involved in making of elongation of fatty acids whether to make it is saturated or unsaturated okay and this process is a step by step one and sequential addition of two two carbons at a time so melanyl coa is a donor of two carbon acetyl groups and NADPH is also required this system can elongate fatty acids having 10 carbon units onwards up to the length of 22 or 24 carbons so the steps in elongation are similar to de novo synthesis desaturation of fatty acids so you have seen denaturation of proteins the same way in fatty acids it is desaturation so that means removal because we cannot have a system to implement uh, more than one double bond okay that's the reason our body cells could able to make unsaturation with implying only one double bond okay more than one double bond it's not possible for our cells okay so that's the reason polyunsaturated fatty acids are essential because we have to take it from them outside okay so more unsaturated fatty acids can be synthesized from saturated fatty acids by d9 desaturase enzyme present in the endoplasmic reticulum the reaction utilizes nadh and molecular o2 and cytochrome b5 the stearic acid is desaturated to form oleic acid the introduction of double bond is possible only between existing double bond and carboxyl end of the fatty acid but not between the omega and existing double bond hence linoleic acid can be synthesized from oleic acid linoleic acid can be converted to aragonic acid by elongation and desaturation so this way we are getting linoleic acid from oleic acid and this linoleic acid can be converted to aragonic acid by desaturation so when you see the flow chart i mean like the reaction sequences so first linoleic coa linoleic acid converted to like it is actually 18 carbon compound having two double bonds okay so it converted to three unsaturation points six nine i mean additional six desaturation has been taken place by the enzyme six desaturation okay and this linoleic coa again converted into homo gamma linoleic coa gamma linoleic coa it is a 20 carbon compound where along is where addition of melanyl coa two carbons from actually from three carbon melanyl is a three carbon compound but one carbon has been removed as co2 and uh, whatever uh, uh, like uh, added carbons to linoleic converted to 20 carbon gamma linoleic coa and this gamma linoleic coa again there is a insertion of desaturation that means uh, insertion of double bond fifth place fifth carbon so it causes 20 carbon arachidonic acid with four double bonds at a place where molecular o2 involved to form water molecule and there is also involvement of nadh so this way you can get arachidonic acid in our body so that's all about the lipid peroxidation uh, elongation desaturation of uh, medium chain long chain uh, very long chain fatty acids thanks for watching thank you